Less than seven months from Election Day, the issue of reproductive rights is once again dominating the headlines. Former President Donald Trump was asked about it this week during his visit to Atlanta, and President Joe Biden's team is pushing the issue in various campaign visits. Joining me now is NBC's Kristen Welker, moderator of Meet the Press. Kristen, the Arizona Supreme Court ruling that permits the enforcement of an 1864 abortion law is why we're talking about this again. It seems the strategy for the Biden team is to focus on this instead of the economy and the border while Republicans find themselves once again doing a very tricky dance when it comes to the abortion issue. Well, you've mapped it out very well, Jennifer, and it has made Arizona ground zero for the fight over reproductive rights. Look, one thing that's worth noting, the state legislature there may be working on trying to repeal that law. It's very likely there will be a constitutional amendment on the ballot in November. But you're right, Democrats are focused on this issue front and center. I think they will also talk about things like the economy, like immigration, but they are going to keep talking about abortion rights. In fact, the vice president is in Arizona today casting former President Trump as the architect of this moment and of this policy, which she is going to say is devastating to women's health and women's reproductive rights. Now, for his part, Trump has said this 1864 law goes too far, but getting at the central point that you made, how will Republicans straddle that line? Democrats won in Arizona in 2020. This has made them more optimistic they may be able to hold on to this state. But again, look, President Biden's poll numbers are sagging in other areas, so it's still uphill, but expect this to be front and center for Democrats through November. So is there any concern within the Republican Party that this is going to cost them in November? Because they've had to be feeling pretty good about the poll numbers on the economy and immigration. Uh, were they ready for something like this to, to happen? Jennifer, I've been talking to Republican sources for months who have expressed deep concern about the lack of a cohesive message within the Republican Party, a lack of a policy when it relates to abortion. One strategist telling me they spent nearly 50 years trying to overturn Roe v. Wade, but there was no plan for the post-Roe era, and we are seeing that play out. Take some of the comments by Trump, which quite frankly have been all over the map as it relates to abortion. That has frustrated some within the Republican Party and added to their deep concerns that, as you say, this race may be a whole lot more competitive than the polls suggest. Always a lot on the agenda. Meet the Press airs Sunday morning at 10 on 11 Live. Kristen, thank you.